They call you Hillisung, like Professor Hillisung. So there are, you have a lot of fans in Korea and just know that you're really appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Horizon Esports, and I'm joined by Hillisung of Fnatic. How did they take this victory against Origin in one of the final weeks of 2020 LEC Summer Split? Hey, congratulations on the victory. Um, I saw the Fnatic players obviously celebrating <laughs> after the match. How are you feeling? Yes, uh, I think we are very happy that we won because we are like very... Uh, our team and Origin are very close in the standings, so mm -hmm. it's really important to win. And right now every win is like huge relief so it matters a lot uh, we're all extremely happy and i especially because uh, i managed to win with uh, one of my favorite champions so i'm really happy about it yeah we do definitely know about your pike um throughout the history and i was watching the broadcast interview with Wipo right before we started the interview and he was complaining because he thought he was carrying on gangplank but self-made was just praising you, saying, oh my god, Hillisung, what's up with your pipe? Right, right, uh, like, he said in game or so, and I was like, I, I didn't do anything, he even wanted to give me a scuttle crop, and I'm like, bro, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's just because uh, maybe I had the, the nuts to pull it out, like, Pike is not very seen, and is considered like a weak champion, but I have different view, and maybe that's why he, he gave me some praise. But even though, I, 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 in my opinion, I felt like I didn't do much this game. I just had a good landing phase and I was giving pressure on the map, nothing, not much else, I think. That's pretty much everything, right? You know, if you have a good lane phase and pressuring the map, you're already doing a lot. Um, I do want to talk about the Pike pick a bit more because it's not a pick that is seen quite often in the current meta. Maybe. Meanwhile, you are paired up with another relatively rare picks, um, Reckless is Jin. I do believe there is some synergy between the picks, so would you be able to run through that bot lane pick a bit more for me? I'll be really appreciate it. Um, so we have a... Um, picks that play with Pike, usually. And usually Jin is not that pick, but I feel like he was put in a spot that he didn't have many good picks, and Jin was uh, his comfort pick. So he wanted to play Jin, and um, yeah, that's how we pl uh, played. We had the we, we played a bit in scrims as well, uh, Pike, and we played it with other carries. But uh, Jin Pike is pretty strong as well because of the the synergy between the hook and the the root and the stun, yeah. which I really like. And yeah, I, I feel like Pike is um, not blind pickable, obviously. But I feel like if you have a good matchup or like decent matchup that you can play with, uh, I think can be very obnoxious for like. The whole map, not only lane pace, because he is very strong in lane. This meta seems to be quite dominated with more traditional AD carries, such as, you know, Aphelios, we have Ash, um, in LCK we have some misfortune, well, Israel is always a popular pick, but with Reckless, um, we see him play some rare champions, such as, you know, we often see Reckless on Senna, which in other teams or players, Senna is often paired with, you know, more top laner picks such as, you know, Wukong or even Maokai. But when Reckless plays, he seems to play more as an AD carry role. Um, would you be able to tell me more about this preference and how perhaps Reckless's um, AD carry picks complement Fnatic strategies? I think uh, it's pure preferences how you play right now Senna. And I feel like Senna right now can be played both way. I think equally successful. And um, I think right now we we practice a lot of like the Senna plus the Bruises, the fasting Senna. Mm -mm. And uh, we still haven't like pulled it off on stage. I think not at least with. I, I think we played with Zillion back in the days. But uh, right now there's like Wukong and Maokai that we haven't played. Uh, and also I think Reckless prefers to play like more of the AD carry style Senna rather than the party one and uh, I blame him. I think the the Senna that builds lethality items is very strong right now. And throughout Fnatic's ranks today, it almost felt like the individual players were going back to their comfort picks almost. Reckless has played Jin in the past and we all know that Pike is one of your V signature picks 
back on his one of his favorite champions, Gangplank. Was that a mindset that Fnatic was trying to approach this game as they headed into a um, play against Origin, perhaps? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Also, the the side selection helped a bit, mm -hmm. like that we chose red side. We had like a counter pick, and uh, yeah, I think just in general, like our strategy that we blinded uh, Buipo with tank that uh, he plays like Chogat. I think we have like very good uh, success in scrims, but uh, sadly on stage it didn't show, and uh, that kind of like opened our eyes a bit that we. Shouldn't do that because it's like uh, I think if Bwipo is in a good spot, I think it's he's a huge driving force for the team. He is very vocal and he is very creative and he helps everyone even from uh, top, from the top side of the map. So uh, yeah, I think if we if we make uh, make him more like free in the game, it will always benefit our team. And it was such a dominating performance from Fnatic today and many people have noticed that Fnatic has been recovering in form, especially after the two weeks break that LEC had be between round one and round two, because obviously, you know, round one's just a bit tough for Fnatic. Um, Hilasang, do you also notice this and did Fnatic perhaps, you know, work on, you know, team atmosphere or new strategies between round one and round two of LEC summer? I think team atmosphere is something that uh, many teams struggle in uh, in LEC, mm -hmm. and I think uh, right now um, we are working on it like every day. Uh, often we are changing like things that we do and habits in the office to to go more more to spend more time in the office and to like talk to teammates more often and share your opinion and to like in general to give feedback. And uh, it's not great. Like it's not the greatest right now, but uh, we are working on it. And I think, yeah, for for me, I think like team atmosphere is like uh, a a lot part of the game. I mean, how do I say? It? Like it's huge part of the game. I think if you're like a good teammate and have good friends and you are able to share everything, you do way better in the game and like you make more accurate calls and you have be better follow up and. I think like right now, uh, Mad Lions and Rogue, for example, they they are on top of the standings, and I feel like they are all like fr like close friend, you know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why they are like so successful. And it's so hard to work on team atmosphere, especially in this you know current situation. You know, not only in Europe but everywhere is kind of weird. A lot of people are playing from home. We don't have the like the audience anymore, um, everything is different, you can't do the activities that you normally used to do, so it's also tough just dealing with all that, right? For sure, it's, uh, you forget a bit how important it is what you're doing, at least I do, and like the audience always reminded me when I go on stage and like they cheer after a small play or like a big play and you can, even you can't hear it, like you can't hear it through the headset, like, um, very well you still feel it and it's like super exciting and from office it's not the same and it's like it's it's not even close like remotely close to what it is on stage in the feeling but uh it is what it is and yeah it's i hope it's get, gonna get better oh i'm really sorry to hear that and i do hope the situation improves too and perhaps that is one of the reasons why the lec seems so what's a good word chaotic Right now, you know, the standing seems to be shifting everywhere, you know. What do you think about this entire situation, like the soup that LEC is going through right now? And is LEC better or worse than in spring? I, I, I actually, honestly, yeah. it's really hard to say. It's really hard. It's like un, unfair as well to take it away from the teams that are on top right now. Because mm -hmm. I feel like they're playing very good League of Legends. It just feels like, it feels different, you know, like playing from... I don't know, I say it again, but it just feels different when you when you play and like even like the comps are not the same because mm -hmm. like playing playing from office is always like a struggle with the 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 app we are using and it's not the same as the the big headsets that you can't hear anything and it's isolated and it's just it's just very crystal clear like it's professional you know and in in the, in the apartment is just or like the office is just not so so good and um, but yeah, I, I feel like they're playing very well. The the rogue mud lions, 
and yeah, I don't want to take anything from them. So I feel like it just it's just different, you know. Mm. Okay. Um. Th thank you so much for this interview, and again, you know, congratulations on this much needed, you know, standings important match. One last question. So again, the standings are so chaotic right now, and we still don't know who's going to the playoffs. And as the structure of the playoffs have changed, going to the playoffs means everything. So what is the one thing that Fnatic needs to do in order to secure its place in the playoffs and grab one of those four seats for the LEC for the World Championship? The one thing I think we have to be able to do to secure our place in playoffs is to to play together. I feel like often we do our own thing and we don't really contribute to the play, but even like like hovering for two seconds or like make sure that you're first on the play or like make sure that you drop one CS or two CS for like uh, getting objective for like that's gonna spend like 15 seconds more if you don't help and this type of thing is the small things that we know we can do we we're not doing them very well right now and i feel like this is the one thing that is gonna cost us or like make it <laughs> okay um oh i see yeah thank you so much for this interview um we kind of went over time so i i wanted to ask about the korean fans but <laughs> <laughs> because you're quite fa you're quite famous in korea you're known as really? the Professor Hillesung. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about these uh, things. But... I think I tweeted about it because the the one time you built Ritz End and took teleport with Thresh, <laughs> and everyone's like, like yeah. you know, he's ahead of everything. You know, he's creating the game, and then people <laughs> like created this whole Photoshop images of you in like a professor suit, and they call you Hillesung, like Professor Hillesung. So there are you have a lot of fans in Korea, and just know that you're really appreciated. <laughs> and Kamsahamida for the interview and best of luck for the rest of the LEC summer. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hilly. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.